Welcome everyone to the second episode of Between Sets. I'm Zach Moyle, and we are very excited today to welcome you back for a second week, a second episode with a good buddy and a good friend of mine, Mr. John Hook. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> welcome, John. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are social distancing, guys, yeah, yeah. just so you understand. But we are in studio today, um, and it's such a pleasure to be able to welcome John. Um, welcome. You seem very excited. I got a little nervous. <laughs> John, I, I scared John. I wasn't as excited as your introduction. He was actually taking a nap on the ground yeah. there. So welcome, and thank you so much for being here today. And, you know, our, our friendship goes back many many years and many great stories and opportunities to shooting waves and just truly like inspired by some of your work i'd love to hear just a little bit more of how we met or some funny stories as we kind of go through before we hit on some of your work i think the first time i actually heard your name or kind of knew who you were i think we had mutual friends i worked in the mall and um i worked in the mall and a customer came in and said are you Rick Noyle's son? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I'm John. I was like, I think you're thinking about Zach Noyle. Like, he, he he's like my same age, same age or whatever. But I don't think we were even really yeah. hanging out back then. That's like kind of the first time I um, heard about you. I don't even know how we started hanging out and stuff. It was probably just mm -hmm. through photo meetups or something, mm -hmm. but yeah. or through the surf world or something like that. But yeah, yeah it just kind of seems like. Now we're here. Surreal. I mean, yeah. it, you, you started a lot of your photography with wedding photography. Is that correct? Yeah. It's kind of weird because I've been a photographer, like, as a job for the past 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. And it's almost a, like a weird thing when people ask, like, what I do. I feel weird saying I'm a photographer. Because I, I don't know if it, it's just one of those jobs that it doesn't seem like. I didn't even know it was a job until about mm. 10 years ago when I met somebody who was a wedding photographer. Absolutely. And then I saw his life and I was like, man, that's awesome. This guy serves all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and he takes pictures. Like, I, I didn't even know that was a job. And then I started looking into it. And, and well, I, I kind of like taking pictures already. I realized you could um, be a photographer as, a, as work. So um, that's what I've been doing now. Um, I know this was kind of labeled as like a photography thing. Right. Um, which is a. What the hell um, is photography, John? It, it's weird because now. Do you have it copyrighted? I'm fun employed. Unemployed. Okay. <laughs> it's wild times nowadays. You know, I mean, being a commercial photographer, wedding photographer in Hawaii, it's, it's changed a lot. I mean, just with everything that's going on in the community, the world, um, and our industry, I mean, what have you been doing? Um, since I've been, I haven't been working, you know, obviously in a couple months. So I've just been surfing and stuff. I'm, I'm glad we, we were still able to get in the water in Hawaii and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think today, one of the main things I wanted to talk about was just how um, creative photography can be, mm -hmm. how fun it can be, and mm -hmm. um, how I got into it, why I got mm -hmm. into it. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that are just kind of into photography or just thinking, like, why would I get into photography? Yeah. Or, like, what is a photographer? What do people do? Like, yeah. um, so hopefully people can take away um, some stuff today that would just apply to them and mm -hmm. would make sense to them because I don't want to be uh, – I don't like being a person that's just like, oh, well, that guy's on a whole new level than me. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't understand what he's talking about, or like, I don't want to do what he's doing. Because, yeah, there's there's a lot of that out there. Like, photography, mm -hmm. like, well, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that. But yeah, um, through the photography world, there's stuff I think for everybody. Yeah. The best thing about it, like, yeah. no matter who you are, how tall you yeah. are, man, woman, strong, weak, whatever, yeah. you can be a photographer, or you can at least love photography and. Um, yeah, it, it just kind of opened up a whole new world for me and just yeah. um, was like yeah. the best thing that I've ever found. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I mean, that's a good good start for us to kind of begin and kind of get in there. I mean, that's absolutely true. And it, it's, it's amazing with the coming of digital and how much there is for people to grow, build into their way and find their passion through photography. I mean, there's so much more options and opportunities for everyone now. Yeah. It makes it harder, but I feel that it pushes me. It, it it helps me to see other people's work. I mean, I so many times I look at your work, I'm like, damn, I wish I shot that. That's how I know I'm like, damn, that's a damn good shot. I wish I shot that one. I wish I thought of that one. And there's there's so much fun and like different creative shots that you've done that I feel. I mean, I've got to tell a fun story of 
One time John was so convinced that he wanted me to go out to off the wall or shoot at pipeline with him. And it was 12 to 15 feet, probably easy and north and pipeline likes west. So the swell is coming in a very strange direction. You usually jump in the water here. You get pulled down the screen uh, or pulled down the stream and you're all the way down by the lifeguard stand. But as we jumped in, we started swimming. We got pulled to the left instead of going the right. And when that happened, we were right in the worst place possible, 12 feet on our head um, at like almost sunset time, right? Yeah. That was yeah. pretty stupid. Yeah, yeah, that, that we, I remember we, I wanted to jump in because we thought maybe at least, maybe the waves weren't that good. It looked kind of funky, but like maybe there'd be a nice sunset one. And I knew you would tell the story too. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's scariest. Like, because people scary. ask you, like, yeah. you know, when I show them that, like, oh, I like taking surf photos too. People ask, like, well, what's the scariest moment you ever had? And I bring up that story too. I was like, yeah, that was, that was the scariest thing we ever had. But, like, as soon as, you know, you jumped in the water, maybe about 20 seconds later, I, I, I like looked back and I'm like, why is that off the wall yeah. house when we should be seeing the lifeguard set? I realized right away, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so stupid. <laughs> like, everybody, it's already too late at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how we learn. That's how we go and that's how we yeah. learn. I mean, that's how we push ourselves and that's really how we go further. Oh, so um, let's jump into a few of John's pictures and we'll start taking some questions as we go along um, at the end. So let's jump into the slideshow if we can, please. Mr. John Hooks, photography. So you know the, you know the meme that people are like, you tell, tell some of your photographer and it's like, what you think you do, what your mom yes. thinks you does or whatever. Yes, please <laughs> like, give us is, that. This is such a like, like, is that what you? I think I do. It could be me. It's just like this naked guy setting up the self timer <laughs> before he's gonna go to serve. And I'm just like, man, is that what people think I do, or is that how I think I do? Like, yeah, it's just a weird thing when you say you're a photographer. What people immediately immediately think, right? You do as a living. Like, some people probably just think you take a picture of butterflies all day and sunsets all day and make a calendar at Walmart and sell it. But uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I do. It's just like I honestly. I have been in photography for so long that I just love taking pictures because I love taking pictures. And hopefully that comes across just like I got into it just because I wanted to create pictures and I also wanted to capture mm -hmm. moments. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but on um, the next one, in reality, to, to make um, a living, I take, I'm, I'm a wedding photographer, I'm a commercial photographer, I'm a portrait photographer, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And, and people are always like, well, what does that mean? Like, what does a wedding photographer do? Like maybe your uncle took pictures at your wedding and it's just some guy, but it's more just pictures of people. Like understand that pictures of people could be one of the most important things that you'll ever do in your life. Like mm -hmm. it, it's amazing to take pictures of, of things and places and whatever, but having somebody in a photograph uh, speaks to different people in different ways. And right. The weird thing about uh, wedding photography for me is, is I take the pictures and I plan on never looking that looking at them ever again. You know, like it, it's for them. It's it's right. for the people. It's like for the people in the photos. Like photography, a lot of times can be for yourself. But for me, like wedding photography or portrait photography is actually for the people in the photos. You know, like wow. they're gonna look at those photos way more than I will. Right. So I mean, that's it's 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 kind of unique that way. Absolutely. Do uh, Do you feel a certain level or sense of like pressure when doing like a wedding photography because you're capturing a moment? That's a yeah. big. Uh, responsibility that you have on your shoulders. And I feel like, you know, you're very good at your craft, you know it well, you know how to capture these moments, but still, I mean, there must be a same sense of nervousness as like I would feel as I like swim out to pipeline. And when we yeah. swim out to pipeline, you know, that sense of like, okay, I know what I need to get. I know how to do it because you can't always be like, oh, can you just walk down the aisle one more time? Yeah. Can you yeah. re-kiss one more time at the end? You know, so you how know, do you do I that? Used, I used to be nervous a lot. Okay. The first few weddings I shot, I was like, if I blow it, like, it's like the craziest thing ever. But right. the more you shoot it, the more you realize they're actually individual. There's people that you're connecting with. Mm -hmm. You're telling a story throughout the day. Okay. You may miss a moment, and, and like, like you say, you miss the kiss or whatever. That is not the most important thing yeah. in a person's life. Okay. You know, like if they don't have a photo of them kissing at their wedding, that's fine. They're going to kiss each other for the rest of their lives. It, you're just really trying to uh, capture a story, and, and you should shoot a wedding that way where you're just like, you're not after one picture, one moment, one whatever. Mm -hmm. You're telling a story throughout mm -hmm. the day that you know, somebody can relive and recap and whatever. So absolutely. the more I started doing that, the less pressure I felt like, you know, okay. like you can miss a photo or whatever, but if you're constantly aware of what you're actually trying to do, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You know, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Epic. 
ethic. Uh, yeah, so we, we'll go on just wow. like, a lot of this is, it just works up where it really is, you're, you're capturing, you're also creating because you're thinking about a photo you mm -hmm. want, but also you're just capturing, you know, things with people in, in places, they're almost irreplaceable. Moments go by so quick that you just want to uh, take it. But so the, the next few are probably going to be just like um, examples of, of photos with people because, like I said, like that's what mm -hmm. people relate to. When they this is beautiful. Things, yeah, it's just like, People relate to seeing faces, and, and that's why um, covers of magazines are always somebody's face. Right? And, you, and you shoot for several different magazines as well, right? Photo yeah. edit and kind of work for some local amazing networks. And yeah, kind so, of thing. so Nella Media Group is one of my mm. employers here too, and, and we have a bunch of publications, TV wow. stuff, but you realize that's what photography is. Like every time you open a magazine, there's pictures in there, right? Like every time you look at a television, there's images. Like there's people that are creating images or something, like whether it's a story, or just like editorial and advertising, like that's a job. Like somebody Absolutely. is getting paid to take pictures of, of that stuff. And, and if you love doing it, that's why it's, it's amazing. Like you love taking pictures and, and creating something. Absolutely. Yeah, Beautiful so, depth of field on that. What lens are you shooting here? Uh, 50. 50, you know, gorgeous. When I first started shooting, a lot of it was just 50 because I, I didn't want to keep things too complicated. I was like, you know, if that's my mm -hmm. focal range, that's what I'm at. Like whatever it looks like, I'm looking at it like not really messing around with it too much. So yeah. Beautiful. No wonder. Oh, and then you know we live in Hawaii. Obviously, there's going to be like companies all the time, just you know, swimwear mm. and it's just selling a Hawaiian lifestyle. And, and if you're watching from Hawaii right now, um, just realize you should take advantage of the area mm. you're in. You know, it's summer year round. It's, it's a global brand. Yeah, you can Hawaii is a global brand, brand that people want all around the, the world. Time. Absolutely. And and just let's touch on your editing a little bit here because just absolutely perfect tones in the skin there from what we're seeing and just the sky and all of your things. How do you do that? How do you approach editing? <laughs> you, you know, my wife does a lot. Of yeah. <laughs> so that's what I was fishing. Yes. Hi, Sam. I know Sam's watching, but you know, so it, how, you know, it, so it's something that it's a partnership that you guys are yeah. doing, which I love. And that's such an awesome thing that you guys work together in that way. But I think that the final thing you should think about when you're shooting is the final product. Mm -hmm. You know, people are sometimes almost afraid to edit a certain way because right. it's going to be like, well, it's fake now, and that's not really what it is. I mean, Ansel Adams, in a way, was editing, you know, like mm -hmm. and he was shooting black and white film photography and stuff. But I think the purpose of photographers is what's your final image and just mm -hmm. get it to that final image. And, and it's subjective. It, yeah, a lot of it to is you, what's your eyes, yeah. Shooting, so Absolutely. Don't be afraid to edit stuff, but, okay. you know, it's weird because you. If I look back at my old photography, like ten years ago, twenty years ago, um, some of the shit looked ridiculous. Like, man, what was I thinking? Like, why mm. did I take a picture? Why did I edit it like that? Um, so now I think we've come to a point where the most natural you can get, the cleanest, perfect version of, of what you're, you're thinking and what you're seeing will be timeless. Oh, so yeah. that's what. From speaking of people like tones and stuff like that, like yeah. you look at Instagram now, there's a whole bunch of like one of the weirdest comments to me ever. Like, love the tones. I I can't, I don't understand that. Like, <laughs> what tones? Like, what? whatever. Like, <laughs> love the tones, but like, you look at that picture yeah. 20 years from now, people still love that photo, you know? Like, I don't think you could go wrong with trying to keep something just clean and natural. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agree. So. Um, this is just more stuff like, it, it, it seems like people get into photography because they just want to take pictures of, of girls in bikinis all the time. Yeah. But I, I'm just kind of showing you, like, if you're comfortable with taking pictures of people, there's always work for that. Absolutely. You know, like especially in Hawaii, and especially if you can show uh, something relatable and mm -hmm. approachable, like that's a really good way to get it developing. And shooting people's like pictures, uh, pictures of people's like super fun. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Between Sets. Make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes. Thank you.